Here I'm taking a very early look at what's due to come out in Beaver Thema version 1.4, which as I'm recording this in the middle of June 2021 is only in alpha version 2, so much could change and it will be some time before it is finally released. It is available to download from our Beaver Builder accounts, but of course this is the kind of thing we won't want to put on our live sites. If you just want to keep up to date with what's going on, can I recommend the Beaver Builder community? Jamie's pretty good at updating us on the changes to the alpha and beta versions and this is a really great place to come in and ask some questions about the new features i've needed to do this a number of times and either jamie or simon are likely to answer you fairly quickly as pointed out here there is some documentation too of course this has been written all of the time but even at this early stage it's pretty good documentation here it doesn't cover everything but what is there is good and also let me mention that the updates are showing now in the main change logs as well so you can see what's going on they didn't used to put this in and it used to look like nothing was going on for about a month where in fact as is the case now there are two alphas going on one for the main plugin and one for thema so an awful lot is going on and in fact that's what's making this video a little bit difficult because I'm gonna have to just select some of the features partly because I don't understand all of the enhancements that have been added so if you've got some idea or you can see something that's significant that I'm missing please make a comment because it'll be very handy for me but I'm going to skirt over some of the things that have been added so I'll go down to the bottom here there are some integrations for the advanced custom fields plugin which I do use but I know many others don't there is some extra support for true or false fields for button group fields for smart slider three fields and some other stuff and I'll just mention one thing that is an integration with ACF. And at the end, I will look at these other enhancements that I don't fully understand and haven't tested out, but maybe you'll be able to input something in the comments. I'm gonna concentrate on the selected features, starting with the one that I think will be the main one for version 1.4. And that is something they've wanted to do for a couple of years. And that is have the page builder work for your content within a Beaver Thema template. Before you had to pick the page builder to do one, it was either laying out your templates or it was being used for the content. Now you can have both. So let me quickly demonstrate this. So what I've done is I've set up a post in the regular way, putting content into the back end, and my posts are set up with a singular Thema template. Let me go over to the view post here. And as you can see, I've got a blog singular applied to this. So this is styling this, but I want to go in and change my content here, which I can now do. I just wanted to show you the behavior. Maybe things will change over time, but previously you would get a little message before that would say, well, if you want to use the page builder to change the content, it's gonna revert back, as you can see in the back here, to the theme styling. The theme styling would have gone. You would need to use the theme. But now I can go in and edit the content. And this is only the first time actually when you're changing the content over that you see this. Otherwise it just remembers where you are. Let's just go in here, should go back. The thema styling has gone on my template, but I can use the page builder. And it's brought forward from the back end, the content that I put in already, put it in a text editor. And as you can see here, which is quite unusual because this is set up in a column and it's actually a row now within a column, which I don't think has ever been possible. But of course, now I can go and add in any kind of modules that I like and I save it and it's just gonna to apply to this particular post and nothing else. I think it's really useful. Let me just show you this again from the other end of things. So on this site, I have set up a custom post type for products and I've also set up a custom field using ACF in this case, but anything would do. And I've set up three products. So we'll go into our Beaver Thema one from the back end. And as you can see here, I've got my custom field from ACF, a WYSIWYG one. And I'm not using the post content area at all. Nothing's been set up here. Just got a singular product page which has been applied. So I'm going to go over to the front end so we can see that. Here we are. Let's go into our product singular and see our template. So let me just go on a quick detour to show you something that's an integration with ACF. So this is connected to ACF, as we can see here when it pops up that we've got our ACF field is connected. I'm going to disconnect that for the moment so I can just show you what happens. Let's go back to connect, go down to the ACF 
post field, I'm going to connect the whole module. Previously, what you would need to do is to remember the field name to put that in to be able to connect it up and also remember what the field type was. Now, you've got this drop down and you can select any of the fields that you've set up. I've only got one in this case and it will just put that in. So that's so much easier. I just want to also, a little further distraction, I just want to thank Dido Skoll for solving this problem for us earlier. So we set up this plugin, Easy ACF Connect for Thema. So we could already do it with his plugin. Just want to say thank you to him because he's such an awesome person. He's always creating something. He's so selfless and such a great community member. Dido, if you do see this, thank you for all your work. And I'm sorry I haven't mentioned this one earlier. And also let me know if there's something different about your solution, which won't be in included in this 1.4 release but anyway that's enough of that but thank you Dido. okay let's go back here and back onto what i wanted to show so the post content area is the area which you can when you're going in using the page builder within the thema template you will need to be set up and here it is and if you don't know where to find that when you're in your singular template and you go over to your modules you'll find that our Thema modules here and as you can see I'm already using one of them for the post navigation and here is our post content so I've got this again within this column so it will place it in a row I could put it below to have as a row let me just go and save this I've already shown you how it works but we'll do it again should just revert me back to yep there we are to the actual post for this product and if I go in here there we are. What I set up is here. And I just think this is really great because there's been a lot of times where I've set up sites with a lot of products and I want that to be content that's put in the back end so I can arrange the templates differently should there be a change of design and have that apply to all of the products. But there has been the odd occasion where there's a product which might need something extra, just the one off and having this field to allow you to do this rather than having to do something which I would do before before, which is set up some repeater fields for maybe just the one-off occasion. So I think this is going to be really, really useful. Okay, I think that's the main feature. I've covered ACF drop downs. Let's talk about breakpoints for sticky headers. Well, I only need to show you this. It's pretty straightforward. Let's just go over here. So I've got a header and it's set to no sticky. If I say yes, now I've got the sticky breakpoint. It's set to the default. And now we've got the choice of what type of device we want that to show on. And I'd probably just pick large device. I don't know about you, but that's probably what I would go for. That's all I can say on that. Let's go and look at this next one. Make subcategory relationships visible in the Thema layout location box. So we were near the location box here it is and I have set up some subcategories just to see how this works so I picked a post category and when I look at all my categories here I can see this subcategory is indented here so I can pick it out as a subcategory if I didn't <laughs> label it so and that's something you can't do when you're in the back end of your post it's still just a tick box you can't really distinguish the subcategories so I'm guessing that's what they've done and I think that's quite a useful thing but I could be entirely wrong on that let me know if I am also what's been added is some templates for headers and footers we've got four new ones let me go back again and I can show you this by launching this particular header and I'm actually using one of these templates but I set this up differently there is some work I think that needs to be had there's conversations I understand going on about this but as you can see here we've got these layout templates at the moment they need sorting out because if I just replace this one there is some styling for the background and the font sizes on this one and they will probably need to go because we won't want that styling so much we'll probably want our theme to set that let me just go and discard that because I won't want that. But there's four templates layouts for the header and the footer when you go to the templates there and probably more to come. So I think that's a, a useful thing to have. Let's go to the next one. OK, this in a way seemed like a major feature to me and it is. 
In fact, browser options have been available as a way of personalizing our content within Beaver Thema for some time, perhaps a couple of years. We could apply them to our rows, columns, and modules. Now we can apply these to our headers, our footers, our parts, and 404 pages. Now, the best way to show you this is show you it in action. So I've set something up. And if I go over to this site, an entirely different site, and I've buried a link here, and this link is going to my bt.beaverjunction.com site, which we've just been looking at. And if I go and click on this link to take us there, it's referring me, and as you can see that, Different header has changed out here, and I've got this section here. They're seeing an entirely different header, and I'm actually using a part here. Let me just go and click on this so we go back to what the default was. So that's how the page should be looking. Let me just go over to the part that I set up, my announcement, which was the little blue section. So I set up that template. I had it show after the header, and I've set it just for the home page only. And this is what's new. We have these browser options here now, which we can apply to headers, footers, parts, etc. And as you can see here, the referrer equals the address that I came from, my domain there. And that's what made that work. And I did a similar thing as well with the header. So I think that's quite useful. Say you have a home page which you want to use, a landing page, so you want to remove some of the navigation and have a clearer call to action or something, you can set that up. Let me just show you what's already been in Thema, but I haven't really used, I need to do some content on it. So I'll just show you this. Let's go and click on this button and you'll see this has got a URL referrer here. So I've got question mark discount equals show on the top here and if I go into my product singular you can see they showed this flash sale which you wouldn't see As you can see this is hidden with a conditional if I go here go to my conditional logic open this up and we can see this has been here for a couple of years I just haven't used it so I've set one up for discount equals show I could do something like less than if I wanted numbers and have a different range of things so we now have this for the whole experience the the headers footers as well as this kind of body content as well something which I really haven't used but could be really handy for personalizing content Okay, let's go to the last one. I haven't fully understood where this might be useful, but field connection to pull current newest or oldest post data. Let's just go to a post and I'll need to go into my singular view and I've set this up. So what this is saying now is with certain fields, like the headers here, we are able to connect these up to the current, which is the default or the latest or new. I'm not sure why you would use it on a post title, but if I just get rid of this and reconnect this, we will see that this wasn't there before. I've got an option now to the oldest and the newest. So I could change this to the newest and the it should change the number to four. It's not showing me live. There, four. Well, I've done exactly the same thing here where we can connect a link if we've got a module that's got a link in it. So I've connected this one up and I've also put this one to the latest. So this is where I think this might be quite handy if you wanted a button that made sure that you were always connecting to the latest post as I've got here. This will do that automatically because that link will always go to, you know, if I add post five, then this is just going to change to that link. So it might be quite useful, I guess. Okay, let's go for the last things that are here, other enhancements. So I think this is powerful, but I'm yet to understand it. And fortunately, Simon explained this. So add defaults for Thema short codes. It sounds powerful. I'm pretty sure it is. Just haven't got an example. So his example that he gives is consider this short code where you've got a kind of a custom field key, but you haven't got a value set to go with this one. So you want to set up a default, which we call Dave here. Then you'll be able to 
output, as I understand this short code, with that default there and whatever key will be there. So it will default to something if you don't have a key. If you do, it has something else. I think that's how that kind of works. I'm just not quite sure where I'd use that. So if you've got any ideas, then please let me know because that would be very useful. Um, something which I don't understand either is the field connections to global elements. I'm not quite sure how that plays out. And I haven't tested the events calendar where you have the option just to show a featured event only. There is uh, an update here for less, this is uh, CSS for PHP version eight. And this again, I don't fully understand, but I know where it is, add layout name to the body tag classes. And I can just show you where that is. So if we're in Thema and we come over to our advanced tab, before we just had the ID and the class, and now we have this label, a label that will be applied and used in the UI for easy ID identification. So anybody got any clues on that? I would really welcome your comments below. Okay, I think that probably covers everything that I want to talk about here. I hope this was useful. And yeah, please let me know what you think about these updates. Thanks for your time today. Hope you have a nice rest of your day. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.